Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how to do this ragdoll animations in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find the tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. So further without any ado let's begin today's video. So here you can see I have created this ragdoll using cubes nothing special okay. So first we need to apply rigid body physics onto this ragdoll. So so select a cube here come to this physics property and apply rigid body so type let it be active so if you want to change the mass you can do that so i will change this to 50 kg okay so now we need to apply this rigid body physics to the rest of the cubes so instead of selecting each cube and applying rigid body we can do that in a simple click so select the active cube which we have applied its rigid body physics now press b on the keyboard for box selection and select rest of the cubes here like this now come to this object rigid body and select this copy from active so now each and every cube has got that rigid body property okay so now if i play this you can see all the cubes will be falling down so we need to create an obstacle so before to that i will select all the cubes once again and i will place them here okay nice so now let's create a ground plane here so go to this add mesh select a plane so now press s and increase the scaling here like this okay select the plane apply rigid body but type change it to passive so if i play this now you can see our rag doll is colliding with this plane but these pieces are falling apart so now we need to connect these cubes together okay so for that select a cube here first and select another cube by holding shift key now come to this object rigid body and select this connect so in connection rigid body properties change this type to point okay so this will be like this just expand this one and type change it to point so now select this rigid body constraint here and uncheck this disable collisions so if it is enabled these cubes will not collide with each other so uncheck this option okay so now repeat the same thing for the rest of the cubes so select the cube first and select the other cube by holding shift key object rigid body and connect so this type will be set to point once it is done for the previous one so we don't need to worry about this now just select this rigid body constraint just disable this disable collision options so i will finish this for you so now you can see i have connected all the cubes together so if i play this now you can see these cubes are not falling apart now so here you can see we got these lines visible so if you want to hide them out come to this option here sorry come to here and uncheck this relationship lines so you will get rid of those lines here okay nice so now let's add some colliding obstacle between so go to this add mesh select a cube here i will place them here one here like this and let me increase this in x axis and let me place this plane below okay so now select the cube add rigid body let it be passive and duplicate it let me place this here and let me duplicate it once again and let me place this here okay fine so now if i play this we can see we got our ragdoll animation so if i play this now you can see our ragdoll will fall down instantly so if you don't want to happen this one and if you want to have the ragdoll react to an object collide into it we can do that so for that select the cube here first scroll down come to this physics property scroll down come to this dynamics enable this deactivation expand this one and also start this enable this start deactivated okay so we need to copy this option for both of the rest of the cubes also so let me select this plane let me hide it out press h for hide it out and now select this active cube press b for box selection select rest of the cubes here go to this object rigid body copy from active okay so now let me bring this plane back so if i play this now you can see our ragdoll will not fall down so now we need to add a colliding object or the object which pushes the ragdoll so for that i will use a spear okay so now let me place this spear here so now be on the first frame press i on the keyboard 
add a keyframe for location and move 10 frames forward and let me move this peer close to this ragdoll and again press i on the keyboard and a keyframe for location okay so now being selected this peer apply rigid body let it be active but make it animated so now if i play this we can see we got the animation of our spear moving so we need to do one thing right now so let me bring this up so at 11th frame the animation keyframe is ending so move back 9 second on the timeline enable a keyframe for this animated fine so now move one frame forward like on 10 second uncheck this animated option and add a keyframe okay so this is done now if i play this you can see the ragdoll will fall only when the object is hitting it so if i increase the mass of this uv spear just say like 100 kg and if i play this now you can see we got this nice ragdoll simulation so in this way we can do this ragdoll animations in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel and support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye